The Super Mario Brothers movie has been a total success, with over 1.1 billion US dollars in box office takings, and has made every fan's heart pound. It is evident to everyone that there will be a sequel, even though there has been no official announcement for a Super Mario Bros. 2 from Nintendo, Illumination, or Universal as of yet. The wait for the new movie could also last a couple of years, considering how much time has passed between other sequels like Minions or Despicable Me. Therefore, we have plenty of opportunities to wonder who could be the new villain in the second movie. Jack Black, who is Bowser's voice in Part 1, at least already has a preference as to who should dub him. Perhaps another video game character, who wasn't featured in the first film, will be important in the story of Part 2. In this video, we use the facts we have gathered so far to let our imaginations run wild as to who the new bad guy might be. Of course, this can't be done without spoilers about the currently running Super Mario Bros. movie. So, you've been warned. At the end of Part 1, everything seemed to have a happy ending, but the depressive Luma conjures up evil. After everything is actually over, Luma comes back to the screen and says, Now that's a happy ending, or is it? And that's after we've seen Bowser rot in the cell of the Mushroom Kingdom in the mid credit scene. But how could he escape? A sequence in the post credit scene has already revealed to us that something special has made it to Brooklyn. Namely, nothing less than a Yoshi egg. A free-roaming Yoshi could cause a fair amount of chaos in New York, especially if more of his kind made it into the human world. This could help provide Bowser with the distraction he needs to escape his lockup. Things certainly wouldn't be easy for him though, especially if Mario and Luigi managed to tame the wild Yoshis. Either way, we are already looking forward to the cute mount that eats everything in sight and can even spit out some fireballs. Whether Bowser will return once more remains unknown. For now, he stays in his cage in the Mushroom Kingdom. Jack Black even sees him battling an even greater danger alongside Mario in the future. But who could replace him as the antagonist? An obvious candidate is Wario, an old rival of Mario. He has shown up in many games and is the perfect antagonist to Mario, since he represents the exact opposite of him. It all starts with his appearance. For with the W on his cap and the spiky mustache, he looks like the evil twin of the Italian plumber. Besides, he's greedy, selfish, and uses all his power in order to get what he wants. In the games, Wario has tried to defeat Mario numerous times. One possibility for the new movie would be to have Wario concoct a scheme to take Bowser's place. Since Wario is also human, he could have ended up in the Mushroom Kingdom after the chaos in Brooklyn. Wario may be trying to take control of the Mushroom Kingdom and turn it into a realm of evil. Jack Black already happens to have the perfect voice for this role. He wants none other than The Mandalorian and The Last of Us star Pedro Pascal as a new addition to the Super Mario Bros. Movie 2 cast. At least in terms of mustache, the actor definitely comes close to the role. The nice thing about Wario as a villain is that he could directly bring along a second entertaining character. After all, just as Mario has his brother Luigi, Wario also has Waluigi. The two would definitely provide a lot of space for creative ideas in the story, since they are not quite as well known as Mario's classic adversary, Bowser. Those were just a few thoughts on what could happen in Super Mario Bros. 2. What do you guys consider possible? And have we possibly forgotten someone who would make an awesome villain? Should you have any ideas? Then let's go with them into the comment section.